I am using Vroid Studio version 7.5. Vroid Studio, not Vroid Mobile. Vroid Studio is a 3D anime character creator. For those wondering about copyright, if you make an original character then you have the full copyright and can use as you wish. However if you use a character, clothing item or anything related to someone else's work then you can't use it for commercial use or profit from it without permission from the copyright holder. First screen, the characters that come with Vroid Studio at the top. Left is plus icon to make new characters and already made characters will be displayed after. When you press the plus icon you'll get the options to make a female or male character. I'll start with female and show the differences later loading might take a while so be patient. And to move around press and hold the middle mouse button and drag. The right mouse button rotates and scroll the middle mouse button to zoom in or out. Top left, under file you can save the character. The first save will pop up a box for you to input the name. First tab on the left is face. Here you can edit the face and texture. You can start with all or do in parts, eyes, nose and ears. On the right side with the sliders or type the value in the box next to the slider. You can edit position, height, width of the eyes and iris, eye shape. You can edit the shape of the eyelids, nose, position on the face, mouth, position and width, ears, size. Face contours, shape of the face, roundness or sharpness, partition of T chin and top of the head.
under face top left tabs. Next to design is the texture tab. Here you can edit the textures for the mouth, scleras, eye whites, eye lines, eyelashes, eyebrows, irises, eye highlights and face skin. You can draw on the UV map on the right or on the model or edit it in another program and import it in. But getting the ratio right for import can be tricky. Next to the model are the options for editing, arrow to move model, brush for drawing, eraser and blur tool. On the right you can select the color, brushes, and adjust brush size and opacity. Also layer settings are available. On the top right of the UV map is the symmetry tool. On the left in the tabs you can change color, use the plus icon to make new layers, the arrows to move the layers, right click on the layers to get options to rename, toggle visibility, import, export, duplicate and delete. Editing the eyeline has some limits so if you want then edit on the face skin texture, if you draw on the eyelashes it goes out the face, so be more selective of brush size. Irises, if you use the symmetry tool you will only have to edit one if you wish to edit in a separate program. Right click on the default image to export the layer. If you already have a base skin color for your character then you can input the code into the color selector and turn the colors on the left white. The when you paint onto the texture you will see the base color on the model. Or you can enter the code into the left selector under the face skin tab and then select the shade color and paint a layer white. 
If you want variations you can paint that on a layer on top of the white layer. The third tab on top is the body tab. Here you edit the body size and shape of the character. You can edit all or go by sections. Whole body, shortness and tallness. Head, head size, neck length and head width. Shoulder, broadness, arm, length, hand, hand size. Bust, size, direction and distance. Waist, torso length and volume. Leg length, foot size.
On the top left next to the Design tab is the Texture tab. Here you can edit the skin texture, same as the face skin texture. Fourth tab on top is the clothing tab. Here you can select from clothing currently available. In version 7.5 currently available is Presets top left, school uniform skirt, one piece dress set, school uniform pants and if you've edited any, it'll appear in the list as set name plus edited. On the right you can select different types of individual items and edit them using sliders that appear below. School uniform short sleeve or long sleeve, one piece dress long, half short sleeve or pencil skirt, pants, skirt and pencil skirt, t-shirt and mini t-shirt and hooded sweatshirt.
Current accessories, bow tie and necktie. Shoes, loafers, one-piece platforms, school uniform shoes, pumps, sneakers, basketball shoes, high-cuts shoes. You can edit using sliders for each and adjust the socks to fit the shoes. Again you can go to the texture tab and edit the clothing, accessory and shoes. If you want cutouts you can use the eraser tool on the default image or import your custom map and turn visibility for the default off. Please feel free to like, subscribe and press the notification bell. I'll upload the other tutorials to the same playlist and link in the description.